Okay, let us take question number 46. Let f from r to r be a function defined by f x equals greatest integer x whenever x is less than equal to 2 and 0 whenever x is greater than 2, where greatest integer x is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. If i equals integral minus 1 to 2 x into f of x square divided by 2 plus f of x plus 1 into dx, then the value of 4 i minus 1 is. So, the question is based on the function of x which is greatest integer x or 0 depending upon x is less than equal to 2 or x is greater than 2. We have to obtain the function of x square as well as function of x plus 1. We can break the given integral as minus 1 to 0 something into dx, 0 to 1 something into dx, 1 to root 2 integrand and root 2 to 2 again integrand. Now, we will plan about these four brackets. First, when x is between minus 1 to 0, x square is also between 0 and 1. When x square is between 0 and 1, it will be following the function greatest integer x term means the value will become 0. So, the first term is simply 0 plus again when x is between 0 and 1, it will give me the same answer 0 plus when x is between 1 and root 2, x square is between 1 and 2. So, greatest integer of x square will give me 1 correct divided by 2 plus f of x plus 1 is there. Now, f of x plus 1 when x is between 1 and root 2, x plus 1 is between 2 and 1 plus root 2. So, it will become 0. So, simply in third term we have 1 to root 2 x into 1 divided by 2 plus 0 plus fourth term when x is between root 2 and 2 that is x square is between 2 to 4 greatest integer will always give me the result from this part since it is 0. So, I will get the result simply as 0. Therefore, i is x square by 4 1 to root 2 that is 1 by 4. Now, the requirement is 4 i minus 1. So, it is simply 1 minus 1 that is 0. Hence, the required result 4 i minus 1 is 0. So, this term is clear. Let us move to the next one. Okay, question number 47 now from trigonometry. The number of distinct solutions of the equation 5 by 4 cos square 2 x plus cos 4 x plus sin 4 x plus cos 6 x plus sin 6 x equals 2 in the interval 0 to 2 pi is. So, simply we have to simplify this given equation and have to check how many solutions are there in the given interval 0 to 2 pi. So, let us start it 5 by 4 cos square 2 x plus cos 4 x plus sin 4 x can be rewritten as cos square x plus sin square x whole square that is 1 minus 2 sin square x cos square x plus the remaining two terms cos 6 x plus sin 6 x can also be written as 1 minus 3 sin square x cos square x equals 2 as given. So, we can rewrite it as 5 by 4 cos square 2 x this 1 plus 1 2 will be cancelled with this 2 minus 5 sin square x cos square x on multiplying and dividing by 4 we can rewrite it as sin square 2 x is equal to 0. Hence, the result is simply cos 4 x equals 0. So, the general solution can be written as 4 x equals odd multiple of pi by 2 where n is any integer correct that is x equals 2 n plus 1 into pi by 8. 
it is given to me I have to obtain the solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi giving values to n we can say required solutions equals when we start substituting from 1 we can write it pi by 8 3 pi by 8 5 pi by 8 and so on we can continue till 15 pi by 8. So, in this manner we can observe there are total 8 solutions of this equation. Therefore, number of solutions in 0 to 2 pi equals 8. So, this thing is clear let us go for the next one that is question number 48. Okay, question number 48. Let the curve C be the mirror image of the parabola y square equals 4 x with respect to the line x plus y plus 4 equals 0. If A and B are the points of intersection of C with the line y equals minus 5 then the distance between A and B is. So, it is given there is a parabola y square equals 4 x say drawn like this a line x plus y plus 4 correct the mirror image of this parabola say like this one right now the question is saying this mirror image is intersecting with the line y equals minus 5 at a and b right now we can go like this either we can take a general point on the parabola in parametric form like at square comma 280 where a is 1 and can take mirror image correct or we can take a point alpha comma minus 5 on this mirror image and can take its image over here fine. So, let us take mirror image of the point alpha comma minus 5 with respect to the line x plus y plus 4 equals 0 mirror image of alpha comma minus 5 with respect to the line lies on parabola. So, first job let us find out mirror image of this point with respect to the given line. So, when we take it we can write x minus alpha upon 1 y plus 5 upon 1 minus twice of alpha minus 5 plus 4 divided by 1 plus 1 that is 2. So, from here we have x this 2 is cancelled out we are left with on simplification of it as minus of alpha minus 1 that is minus alpha plus 1. So, L x is simply 1 and y is minus alpha minus 4 this point is lying on the parabola which is y square equals 4 x. On substituting this point in this parabola, we can write it here, put 1 comma minus alpha minus 4 in y square equals 4 x. It gives me alpha square plus 8 alpha plus 16 is equal to 4 or alpha square plus 8 alpha plus 12 equals 0 that is alpha comes as minus 2 minus 6. So, we got two points minus 2 comma minus 5 and minus 6 comma minus 5. The distance between these two points simply it is modulus of minus 6 minus plus 2 that is result is 4. Required distance equals 4. 
correct so in this manner we can find the distance between the points a and b as 4 units so let's move to the next one that is 49th question